Hey, um, it's Doc Shell. Thank you for coming to Dr. Test Prep. Um, right now we're going to be going over Khan Academy Unit 5, Lesson 2, on congruency, similarity, and angle relationships. The basic questions really just kind of focused on angles when I was looking at Khan, so that's what we'll talk about. We're not going to really use the Desmos calculator too much um, for this video. Let's look at my tip before we start. My best tip for parallel lines is to match the obtuse or big and acute small angles along the transversal. Matching angles are congruent and one obtuse angle and one acute angle equals 180 degrees. So what do I mean by this? This right here is an obtuse angle. This is an obtuse angle. And an obtuse angle is bigger than 90 degrees. This is obtuse and this is obtuse. If we look at the other angles, we can see that, let's do a lighter color. This is a little acute angle, little acute angle, little acute angle, little acute angle. So all of our yellow angles equal each other no matter where they are. There's different reasons they equal each other, like corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, and vertical angles, to name a few. All the pink angles are equal for the same reasons, corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior, um, and vertical. Now, anytime we have one yellow and one pink, those are supplementary angles. Sometimes they form a linear pair, like they're on a straight line, or sometimes they have relationships like same side interior or same side exterior. I don't suspect they're going to test your vocabulary. I believe that they would test your interpretation of that. So for example, if we look at number one, the picture to the right shows two lines, two parallel lines cut by a transversal. What is the measure of X? Well, we see here that we have one yellow, which is an obtuse angle. So we have a yellow and a pink. So I'm gonna do my acute angle plus my obtuse angle is gonna equal 180 degrees. And you do need to know a straight line is 180 degrees. So we don't know the acute angle. We know the obtuse angle equals 180. And so you would just subtract 180 minus 105. Now, I don't even have my students honestly write the formulas. It's like if they look the same, it's the same. If they don't look the same, 180 minus an angle that you have, period. We never write the formulas. Um, but in this case, our x is going to equal 75. If we look at this next one, we can clearly tell that angle 68 is an acute angle. So is this angle, this angle, and this angle. Remember, acute angles are less than 90 degrees. I feel like my tone is different right now, but it's early in the morning, so this must be my everyone still sleeping in the house voice. Um, anyway, moving on, both of these are orange. They're both acute, so they have the same measure. No calculator necessary. Um, just coincidentally, these are called vertical angles. Vertical angles form an X. Number three, given the intersecting lines, what is the value of X? Well, I notice that this is an acute angle and this is an obtuse angle. And because if I had my line like this, that would be my 90 degrees. So remember I tell my students, if you have one acute and one obtuse, just do 180 minus the angle that you have and that will give you your answer. All right, in the next video, we will do some more challenging problems that have variables um, and are using different properties of parallelograms and shapes. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>